Siobhan. Dr. Kenilworth. Mommy, are the cookies ready yet? Not quite yet, sweetie. Why don't you go over the road and play at Sammy's and I'll call you when they're ready. Okay, mommy. Mommy, so it's true. <laughs> I must admit when you have your claws on set on something and oh, now we have time to talk. Just like old times. Siobhan, you can't. No, you can't. Do not tell me what to do. Okay, okay. You tell me what you want. I want to know how it felt. I don't know. Don't treat me like an idiot. I want to know how it felt taking my child to school and tucking them into bed at night knowing that you took their mother from them. Siobhan, that is not what happened. And how it felt screwing my husband when you turned him against me. Siobhan, please. It's, it's, that's right, beg. Beg me to forgive your betrayal. Siobhan, I did not betray you. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I must be confused. What do you call stealing my family and sleeping with my husband and getting my child to call you mummy? I did not steal them <gasps> from you. Liar! You pretended to be our friend, a confidant to James and I to work out our problems, but you just took everything and you twisted it. Siobhan, I always tried to- You always took his side. I listened to you both, but you said it yourself. You changed when you started getting your headaches. It always hurts. Does it still hurt now? It does. I knew that losing them made things worse. Your family? Ah, uh, see, you admit they were my family. Were your family, Siobhan. You and James were going through problems, and I was trying to help, but you couldn't see. We, we were doing fine until you came to us. Uh, we came to you. That's not what you said. I remember what I said. Do you, though? You said the headaches made you forget things. Oh, I tried to remember. I know. I tried to make myself forget the pain. It always hurts. You forgot about the stove and leaving the front door open. It was James. He always nagged and shouted at me. He, he never understood. That was why you came to see me, though, wasn't it? You wanted to see someone else, someone who would understand. You! Betrayed me! I never did. Oh, James, he loved me until you got your claws into him. Siobhan, James came to see me after you left. He did? He didn't know what to do. You'd gone and he was worried about you. But you made him change his mind. No. Yes, yes, you told him that I was crazy and that he'd be better off without me. That's not what happened. He looked for you, Siobhan. Liar! He went to see your parents. Why would he do that? He thought you might have gone home to... This is my home! Siobhan, where do you think you are? What is this? Some tricky doctor tricks? Well, it won't work. I would never want to trick you, Siobhan. I just need you to answer me. Where do you think you are? I'm at home, my home that you stole from me. No, Siobhan, I have owned this house for over 10 years. Oh, you may think you can play Lady of the Manor, but this is my house. Then where are the plates kept, Siobhan? What? You told me that you liked everything to have a place and your kitchen was always tidy. It is. Then where are they? You move things. No. It was bad enough that you took my husband. You moved the kitchen around so I don't know my own house. James would never have let me do that, Siobhan. Oh, oh I'm sure you could make him do anything you wanted. 
He didn't want to stay in that house. Oh, you're wrong. It was our home. That's why. Too many memories. Memories you wanted gone, I'm sure. That's not true. Oh, that yes, that's it. You tricked him into marrying you, and then you made sure that he had no memory of me left. No. So when I came back, he had no chance of remembering the woman he really loves. James loved you for many years, Siobhan. I could never take that away. Loves. He loves me. Okay, then why don't you let me call him and... Don't move. Don't you want to see him? This isn't about him. But you said you love him. Of course I do. But I don't stand a chance against you, do I? You seem to have the upper hand. Oh, I don't mean now. I mean you. You're pretty and clever. But you are. Oh, you, you, you sit there in your ivory tower made just for pretty and clever women, and you have no idea what it's like for the rest of us. For who? For the normal women. Women who are doing everything they can to make their relationships work and look after their, their families. But then you swim into their lives and suddenly their husbands realize that they can do better. I promise you. Oh, you never had to deal with it, I'll bet. Deal with what? Rejection. That feeling when the man you've loved all of your life looks into your face. And you can see the love is gone. I bet you both had a good laugh at my expense. We'd never do that, Siobhan. Oh, of course you did. I bet it was real turn on for James, screwing the woman who, who we were paying to fix things. And all the time you spent nights lying there thinking, I spent there thinking all about this. Why doesn't he love me? Could I be better? Could I be smarter? Could I, could I be prettier? You are very pretty, Siobhan. Oh, I know. But you knew that too, didn't you? What do you mean? Well, that's why you tried to kill me, to get me out of the way. I never tried to hurt you, Siobhan. You pumped me with poisons and you didn't. I, I didn't make you take those pills, Siobhan. That was all you. Oh, you have no idea what it's like. Feeling so trapped in your own skin and watching the people you love pulling further and further away by someone you, you trusted. I didn't pull your family away, Siobhan. You pushed them away. No. The drink and pills turned you into someone else. You said that to me. Your husband and child were terrified of you. No, no, no. You turned them against me. James had to take Henry to the hospital when you broke his arm. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. You came to my office in tears that day. You told me you couldn't remember. That the first thing you remember was seeing his body fall to the floor. Stop lying! I kept the recording, Siobhan, of that session. Don't move. Siobhan, you need to hear this. It will help you understand and remember. I promise. All right, Siobhan, why don't you start from the beginning? I, I don't know. You picked Henry up from school, right? He was chatting away about something, some school project. I, 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 I could feel my mind splitting in pain. I just wanted him to stop chatting. And what happened when you got home? James wasn't home. He's never home. Do you remember taking anything? It was just a glass of wine, something to relax me. Siobhan, you know you aren't supposed to be drinking. I just wanted him to stop talking. But he didn't. I asked him, I pleaded with him, but he wouldn't stop. I could feel the pain building and building. And then what happened? I, I don't know. The next thing I knew, he, I called the ambulance right away, but James came home. You hurt Henry? Oh, James kept sh shouting that he, that he wasn't conscious. He, he wouldn't stop shouting. Is Henry all right now, Siobhan? I, I don't know. James had taken Henry to the hospital with a broken arm and bruises. G James did it. No, Siobhan. James told the doctors he'd fallen down the stairs. 
to protect you. No, no, no. He was always against me. He knew you'd go to prison. He didn't want that for you. He loved you. No, he was screwing you. Siobhan, James and I married last year. That incident was five years ago. Oh, no, no, no. It, it, it can't be. It, no. Siobhan, do you remember where you went after you left my office? You sent me away. You sent me to that hospital. You disappeared. James went looking for you, but you disappeared. I wanted to get better for my family. You don't seem better, Siobhan. No, I couldn't get rid of the pain. I can help with the pain. I know doctors and people who can listen to you. No one listened before. We both wanted to help you, James and I, but you knew you had to stop the drinking. It's the only thing that stops the pain. James begged you to see a doctor and get tested, Siobhan, so they could find your pain and help. No one knows my pain but me. All right. All right. All I want is something to make the pain go away. No, I can help you, I promise. Help me. Help me? Yes. <laughs> of course. You can take the pain away because you put it there. No, Siobhan, I swear I didn't. You put this pain in my head and made my made me hurt my family and then you took them from me. Siobhan, you hurt Henry. I didn't mean to. Of course not. But, but part of me wanted to. What do you mean? Oh, the pain. The drinking pills it was it's just excuses really i knew that when did you know that when i saw henry in the hospital you went back to the hospital i could feel it as i looked down at him part of me wanted to hurt him it was then i knew i, I couldn't be saved that's not true siobhan i have to make a choice now i have to be brave enough what choice? To end my pain? Or to destroy its source? Siobhan, please, it doesn't have to be this way. Oh, I wish it didn't, but, but I, I know now it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. But it's easy. No. 